Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a gear rundown of all the gear that I'll be using for chasing on Wednesday in Iowa. First we're going to start off with a few of the basic things. So, my, uh, this is my dash cam. So it's just like kind of an off-brand, uh, let me focus that, an off-brand GoPro. It works just as well. Um, it sticks to the top of the, the car. Uh, windshield and you can see that and it just suction cups like this just pop it in locked in and then you just keep it going and I usually plug it into something and then also uh, I just got a new SD card for it so it's got 32 gigabytes that should just be uh, fully able to be uh, used um, for video tomorrow and it has I think I think I saw has about two and a half hours of video able to 1080p video so that should be enough I would think I mean, night chases be harder. I won't have it on probably too long, but I do think that should be more than enough time uh, for chasing. Next up is this camera. It's just a cheap Chinese off-brand uh, 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 just a uh, can't even think what they're called. Just a video camera, basically. It does have 24 megapixel uh, pixel. Uh, pictures but it doesn't really work that well for pictures and also it's it's okay for videos and time lapses it just got a weird looking so this is I actually use this for uh, live streaming so what I do is I plug it in my HDMI and I plug that into my laptop which I'll show you that at some point it's a Dell and I plug that into my laptop and then I put it through OBS and then that's how I stream so you'll be seeing a stream too and the Wi-Fi shouldn't be too bad since we're going to the west and north. Alright, so this is my Nikon uh, Coolpix. Uh, this is my oldest camera that I've used for the longest amount of time. It's 40 times zoom, but it kind of doesn't work that great anymore. B50, B500. It has a nice little retractable lens like that, so you can pull that out. Uh, you can't put lenses on it. This was my first ever, basically, DSLR camera. It just doesn't quite work it always says it's overheated and also it uses regular batteries, AA batteries, so it's really hard to keep charged. So this probably won't be utilized on uh, Wednesday. So, except for that, I like the color, but though it's really cool, that shiny red. So the newest addition to my camera bag is this really cheap um, dash cam. I got it from Walmart for like, I think it was 20 bucks and it was on sale. It used to be like 60. Uh, it's a 1080p as you can see in a second let me focus that or not focus okay oh there we go full HD 1080p uh, wide angle it'll be basically probably I'll put it on a side window or something so that it uh, doesn't get the same exact video but maybe something else and it turns on and it works just like this <laughs> you can see the reflection stuff there's me but it should be a good secondary uh, dash cam for me so then I'll have two video cameras running and it's micro USB and it has also a 32 gigabyte but I think it's a few has some video on it so it won't run as long so we're gonna be checking out the first of my lenses this is my wide angle see uh, Nikkor Nikon Nikkor uh, it goes down the 10 as you can see and then there's the bonnet on it I, I, I leave that on because I like how it looks and also it helps so it could go down to wide of 10 and actually works really really well I love this thing I almost use this more than the regular um, lens that came with the camera I mean it's really nice for everything and it has 10 and it goes up to 20 and I usually keep it on 18 for closed because that seems to be the most closed as you can see because look if you go see so you can see just watch that goes barely out so I keep it around 18 for the most closed and then the lens cap it's a pretty big big face on that so it's got to have a bigger lens cap for that so we're checking out my second lens which is my other most used lens which is best for like distance so this is my 300 millimeter uh, distance lens I guess I was call it goes 300 millimeters uh, 55 to 300 so it's max of my other one without any sort of I always keep the bonnet on this one too I always like how that looks better I can show you that 
Let's look on the end. I like how that looks. Um, it doesn't really serve too much purpose for me, but especially at night, it won't help at all. But it's got VR, and it's got automatic. This I actually got for free, so this was nice. And then I have, there you go, for that. And it goes all the way out to there. And you can look at it. I don't have usually have too much trouble with this at all. Uh, neither with my other lens. But they're both um, autofocus, so it helps a lot with that kind of stuff. So I can still get good footage and video without having to worry about focusing. See this, the model. Works really well. I got a few tornado pictures with it, actually. So this one's been used to get tornado. The only one I have it is that wide one. Which if I get a tornado Wednesday, that's the one I probably will get it on because getting that wide angle shot would help a lot for my stuff. Alright, now we're going to go to crappier quality video because I have to go off my phone. So, we've got my Nikon D5600, which is my main shooting camera. Uh, it's got on a little tripod, which is my extra one. So you can see there's the viewfinder that you can adjust and everything. And then on top I have my microphone, which ever since lately my audio on my camera has been really really bad so i've had to get a microphone for that it actually works really well as you'll hear whenever i post the video you can hear all the the sound on that and then you go around and it's it's smaller than my uh, uh 3500 over there it's also just more compact and i like it it's lighter it fits good i think i have a 64 gigabyte card in there and it's got the stock lens on it i guess what you'd call it it's the uh 18 to 55 millimeter it's all, also got vr so it's nice it's crisp and also has like uh, whenever you're videoing it, it makes it nice and smooth as you can see obviously but my tripod doesn't want to move Here, let me loosen that up or or not apparently i doesn't want to move today but this is my uh lens it's 24.2 megapixel which i think is exactly 300 dpi which is what most people like to print so that's nice with that, and you can see the plug-in port for that. It's just right on top. Um, I'm getting a lightning trigger, which is coming, I think, Friday, so it's just out of reach for the Wednesday. That would have been nice to have, especially at night, but it's all right because I, I should be able to get through all this with this, uh, with the videoing. Uh, next up, I'll be checking out my anometer. So this will just be for, like, uh, on-the-ground wind speed measurements. So it is a just kind of a off-brand one that I got a while back. I think it was last Christmas. I'm planning on getting a new one uh, for Christmas, like a smaller one, but turn on. Works really well. I've got a few. I think I got my highest reading on this thing was 47, 47 miles per hour. And even just during the day on Wednesday, I should be able to get over that because there's supposed to be 55 mile per hour when you guys without any storms. So this thing will be utilized a lot because it could really help out with um, warnings and possibly uh, just sending to the National Weather Service in general. They could like all that kind of stuff. So that's basically it for this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and anybody that's new, uh, just make sure to turn on that bell because I will be posting lots of content from everything that happens Wednesday. So just be ready for all that and... Um, Basically, stay safe if you're in Iowa. Well, for anywhere really, but there should be there's gonna be some storms around Iowa, uh, possibly Minnesota, and parts of uh, maybe Missouri even northern Missouri, uh, possibly Kansas, Oklahoma, some of those farther down spots. There's some cape and moisture down there, and uh, lots of shear, lots of wind shear. That's why there could be some tornadoes up near Iowa because of this wind shear. It's gonna be like one or one thousand cape which that could go up, which would cause a lot more storms. Um, I'm guessing probably maybe an enhanced at most, but I heard Reed Timmer say 15% could be in, in the play, which I don't see that happening, but you never know, even especially him saying that. So that's it, I guess. <laughs> see you guys next time. Goodbye.